philosophy with a hands-on attitude. Philosophy not made around the campfire, but philosophy based on the acquisition of extreme experience. That's how you figure out what the world is, not by bicycling around in the burbs, but by forcing extreme experience. The reason people refer to psychedelic endeavors with the vocabulary of travel, taking a trip, and so on, is because that is an extreme endeavor. It's the same endeavor. It's the leaving behind of the values of your own culture. You know, take nothing but a change of clothes, fly to Benares, and take up residence at Dasasamid Ghat among the Charas Sadhus, and I guarantee you, whether you resort to psychedelics or not, uh, you will experience boundary dissolution, a reorienting of categories, and a reframing of your perspective on uh, your life and your being. So extreme experience is the necessary key. This is true in all forms of endeavor. I mean, if you, if you want to understand the atom, you have to smash it. You know, sitting around looking at it, it will never yield its secrets. You have to smash that sucker to bits, and then collect the pieces, and then examine exactly how it all uh, came apart. In the same way, and without you know, going too far afield for the pun, we must smash ordinary consciousness, get smashed and then look at the pieces flying in all directions and say, you know, gee, I didn't know minds could do that. Uh, well, uh, they can't in the workaday rote of, you know, living inside the little boxes of positivism and constipated behaviorism and all the rest of it. You have to smash that sucker to bits. You have to smash that sucker to bits. You have to smash that sucker to bits. Smash that sucker to bits. You have to smash that sucker to bits. 